I found this ladybug baby while I was out for a walk and I saw that she just had babies. So I thought I'd give them a little help and hatch them. Watching their metamorphosis was insane. So I wanted to share their life cycle with you. At first, I went on a hunt to try and hatch a butterfly and while I was out, I found these little ladybug larvae. So I took the little larvae and put them in my insect bug box. I'm not sure how old these larvae were, but before they become these little reptiles, it all starts with a tiny oval-shaped egg that the ladybug lays on a plant leaf. She carefully chooses a safe spot so her babies will have a good chance to grow up healthy. And in just two to three days, the eggs hatch and out comes the ladybug larva. At this stage, the larva looks nothing like the colorful round ladybugs that we all know. Instead, it resembles a tiny alligator with a long body, six spiky legs, and black and yellow stripes. It's the bright colors that serve as a warning to predators that they taste bad and might be poisonous. Don't worry though, this little larva is a voracious eater. It loves to feast on tiny pests like aphids and mealybugs, helping to keep our gardens healthy. I was quite surprised at how different the little alligator-like larva look from the adult ladybugs. At first I didn't even know that this was a ladybug, but I now had two ladybugs in my little bug box ready to morph into the next stages of life. They usually stay little alligators for three to four weeks, enough time to do some serious chowing down, but cannibalism is a very real threat for growing ladybug babies. They often eat each other, so they've got to be careful. But during the larval stage, the ladybugs look for a safe place to morph into their next stage of life that of the pupa. This is the magical stage. They attach themselves belly first to a surface like a leaf or a stem. In this case, the larva attached its belly to the side of the bug enclosure and it was pretty cool how it just stuck there and never fell off. They must excrete some sort of sticky substance that helped them to stick. During this time, they do not eat and like a butterfly, they are hidden inside of their pupa morphing into the next stages. The ladybug will bounce and wiggle in an upwards and downwards motion as it sheds its skin and some of the larval skin will hang around a bit which is normal. It will shed its skin up to four times to reveal a new, larger body underneath. The future beetle, yes ladybugs are beetles, scrunches up to be more compact and begins to look less like an alligator and more like a ladybug. The pupa will change in color, going from dark to pastel orange. This process lasts about a week or so, ending when the little one makes its way out of the pupal skin. It's a bit like a butterfly cocoon. Inside this pupa, incredible changes are happening. Once the orange oval shaped ladybug emerges from the pupa, the new adult is soft winged and lighter in color than it will be in the future. It takes a couple of days for those vibrant wing covers to take their final harder form, just like a butterfly needs time to develop their wings to fly after hatching. The black dots on the wing covers will also emerge after about four hours. They'll begin to darken and become more visible after the exoskeleton hardens and the red colors on the bug mature. Now each ladybug have distinct patterns and a distinct number of spots on their wing covers. The most common species of ladybug, the seven spotted ladybug, typically has seven black spots on its red wing covers, but there are also other species with different spot patterns ranging from two to 24 spots. But another physical change is that the ladybug leaves behind a yellow liquid before it's ready to fly. And what looks like pee is actually just blood that the ladybug secretes from its leg joints to tell you and other predators to back off. This liquid actually contains chemicals that deter predators from trying to eat them. It's a form of chemical defense known as reflex bleeding. It's their natural defense mechanism that helps keep them safe. But once the exoskeleton is hard, the ladybug can fly, displaying its new, usually red and black, wings for the world. And when ladybugs take flight, they fold their developed wings, located beneath the colorful wing covers, and they can fly at speeds of up to 15 miles per hour. It was so beautiful watching the little wings emerge. I was so upset, but I was hoping that she would come and visit me in my garden and eat all the aphids. But then comes the feasting. Ladybugs are the most natural form of controlling pests because they're voracious predators of plant-eating pests like aphids, mites, mealybugs, insect eggs. They also do eat pollen, but they also eat each other. A single ladybug can consume up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime, so they really help protect crops in the garden, and they really do play an important role in maintaining ecological balance. And remember, they can only live for up to one year, so that's a lot of 
of aphids. Their lifespan is a lot longer than other insects, some noted to even live for two years. But once they eat, they can find a lover and make more babies. And then the cycle starts all over again with some little eggs on a tiny leaf or in a bug box if you're like me. What I find really cool about ladybugs is that they can be found on every single continent except for Antarctica. So they're highly adaptable. They've adapted to various climates and habitats around the world. I'm from Canada and clearly they can survive in very harsh Canadian winters. And the way that they survive in winters like in Canada is by hibernating and gathering together in large groups, often in crevasses or under leaves to conserve energy and to stay warm. I'm sure you can agree with me that the process of hatching a ladybug is a fascinating journey to observe from egg to ladybug. It's one of the many wonders of nature, so getting to watch the metamorphosis firsthand felt like a privilege. And the best part was that it only took 10 days. We're lucky to have these lovely helpers in our gardens, I honestly believe that, but that's the story of Lady. I hope you'll find little alligators and keep them and grow them into ladybugs, but if you don't, I hope you enjoyed watching Lady grow and develop. But just wait until you see Sunny the butterfly that I hatched. Well, as you know, on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants that fruit in Canada, and now apparently the eggs from exotic bugs and witness their metamorphosis into the next stages of life. Which honestly might be even cooler than growing plants, but I love them both. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and remember that I love you. And I'll see you next week.